So we continue with the distribution. So we're going to other channels of distribution where we have the producers, wholesalers, retailers, before the final consumer, or the producers, the agents. But the focus now is going to be on wholesalers and retailers here. So we start with the wholesalers, which are the wholesalers. Why do we call them wholesalers? We call them wholesalers because they buy directly from the producers and sell to retailers. For wholesalers, they buy from producers and sell to retailers. That's why we call them wholesalers. Do we get wholesalers here? So I hope a wholesaler buys from producers and sells to retailers. It is able to store goods produced by many manufacturers, which allows retailers to buy you know, varieties of products. So because they are wholesalers, they can buy from different producers. So which means retailers will be able to buy varieties of goods. An example of wholesaling is Crimea. You know Crimea, right? Crimea, there are stores in Crimea. Crimea, Crimea. Yeah, there are stores there, they are wholesalers. Because when, whatever store you go into there, they sell varieties of products from different manufacturers. So that's a wholesaler. Stop right in place. Do you understand wholesaling here? Then go to the retailers. Who are the retailers? They buy directly from the wholesaler and sell to the final consumer in bits. They break the bulk. Those shops you go to in your streets, they are retailers. In your shop, I said those shops you go to. Like something that they shops that you buy. Charge card, you buy your juice, whatever you buy. In your streets, they are all retailers. They buy from Crimea. Do you get it? So those shops in your streets are all retailers. They sell in bits. They sell in pieces to you guys. Do you understand retailers here? They break the bulk. You don't get it. As soon as goods are produced, if it is not two-stage distribution, it means other stages of distribution. Okay. As soon as goods are produced, if it is not two stage, uh, if it's not two stage distribution, it means other distribution channels, which is wholesalers, retailers to the final consumer. So we call them wholesalers because they buy directly from. Don't write this. We call them produce wholesalers because they buy directly from producers. They buy directly from producers, but they do not sell to consumers. They sell to retailers. Who are these retailers? Retailers are those who buy directly from wholesalers and sell in bits. To consumers, so those street, those shops in your streets, they buy directly from Premier, which is wholesaling. They sell to you in bits. So you need to buy maybe a marker, just buy a piece of marker. You buy with the retailer. But if you want to buy a carton of marker, you have to go to Premier to buy because they sell in wholesale. Do we get it now? So a wholesaler a wholesaler buys from the producer to finally sell to the retailer. What the retailer does is they break the bulk. Because they are going to buy in bulk, but they break the bulk so that they can sell in pieces to consumers. Do we understand retailers now? So, for retailers, I wrote, yeah, retailers, retailers, okay, the services rendered by retailers, one, they break the bulk by selling in bits to customers. So, they break the bulk. I told you to stop, right? They break the bulk, they sell in bits to we consumers. That was the first service they rendered. They may add, okay, two, they sell in locations that are convenient for customers. So at any point in time, whatever your street is, you're going to find a shop over there. Yes or no? There's always going to be a shop in every street that you pass by. What's bulk? Bulk means in large quantities. Large quantities, carton. In large quantities. So that's the bulk. But they break the bulk. The box, you know the box? Yeah, yeah they break it. Yeah. How do they break it? By selling in bits? That's what breaking the bulk is. Do you get it? So it's always going to be convenient for customers because in your street, you're going to have a shop around your street. That's customer's convenience. So it means just some steps outside, outside your house, you find a store or a shop. Do we get the point, please? Are you here? And the last one, they may add value to products by offering extra services to customers. Like if they want, if you want to buy, maybe you want to buy, let's say, um, a beverage, maybe Fanta or Coke. You could buy the one in the fridge, yes or no? Yes. Normally they are not going to buy it from the fridge, from Crimea. But you, find, you can find it in the fridge, from the, super, from the shop you want to buy. So that's an added value. Do you understand added value here? Yes. So retailers can add value to the product or service that you're buying. Is it clear please? So these are the services they render. Any question about that? Then we have different types of retailers. 
The first one, independence. These are the ones in the street that we're talking about. They are independent, they are small shops. Do you understand independence here? Yeah. It's owned by, they own it, it's their shop. The guys you know in the street. Yes. Then we have the supermarkets. For the supermarkets, they are large shop stores. It's not a big supermarket like Aruban and the rest. They are large stops. They sell goods, non or food or non-food materials. Then we have departmental stores. For departmental stores, these stores, they have different products. They might, they might be selling electronic products, they might be selling jewelry, they might be selling uh, different products in the same big store. We call them departmental store. They might sell shoes, bags, clothes, and the works in the same store. So like yeah. Do you understand departmental yet? But what they do is they ensure that there's department in that store, different department that you can go to. It's a clear place. Yeah. The multiples. For multiple chain stores, there are stores that sell large quantities of the same products. So you want to buy clothes. They are all clothes but different brands. All the same. They sell the same clothes, but with they sell clothes but different brands. These are multiple chain stores. Do we get multiple chain stores? Do we get it, please? The online retailers here, they are, they are intermediaries too. They buy from the producers and sell to you guys. Alibaba, Amazon, and the rest. It's a clear place. I don't know why you're laughing at me. Then we have the kiosks. For the kiosks, they are, they are movable stops. You find them in the streets sometimes at the airport. They sell specialized products, like recharge cards and the rest. They are movable. You can move the stop in the shop. The kiosks. So like an ice cream shop? Yes, they are kiosks. Is it clear? Yes. And the last one, the market traders. Subjuma, Medina markets. Those stalls here, yeah, they sell goods and sell They sell goods. I think on some market traders, a trader is an individual, a trader is a person who buys and sells. He buys and sells. So you go there to buy, the Medina you go to to buy, they are, they are market traders. So all of them are retailers. Any question about retailers? And for wholesalers, they, are, they buy directly from producers and sell to retailers. Retailers buy and break the bulk from the wholesalers, sell to the final consumer. These are distribution channels. Any question about it? No. Thank you. Is it clear? Yes. Okay.